Hola guys, welcome back to the channel and today I'm doing a seafood bowl. What you say now, what you do now, it's T and Lee and we back with the crew now. Crab shrimp and you know we review now, cooking up all this real nice food now. What you said now, what you need now, look on green screen HD now. Go ahead and subscribe, join the family, T and Lee is the place to be. Alright y'all, so welcome back to the channel as you guys can see. I have a seafood bowl here in Beloved Sauce, I have not done that in a long, long time. And then I have some peppers to the side. Um, before we get started to the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Tinley TV because y'all know it's the place to be. And don't forget to check out the coldest water bottle. The links will be down in the description box down below. If you want to save 10% off your entire purchase, don't forget to use the promo code TNLE. Okay, y'all. So I'm excited about today's mukbang because I haven't done a seafood bowl in a long time and I haven't done it in B-Love sauce. So this should be good. I tasted it. You know, I make it my own and it's giving. <laughs> All right, y'all. But before I get into the video and start eating, you guys know that I work with Dossier and they are sponsoring today's video. So let me tell you a little bit more about them. Welcome back to another Dossier review. Well, Dossier will blow you away. So guys, I got two more fragrances to try for you guys. Today I have a floral jasmine and I have embery cherry. As you guys know from my previous reviews, they come like this with the card with the notes and the concentration and who the fragrance is inspired by. It's on the back of the card right there and that's what it looks like. So this one is the floral jasmine. The top notes for this is neroli, cardamom, bergamot, and pepper. The middle notes are jasmine, sambuk, ylang lang, <laughs> and broom flower. And the base notes are labdanum, clary, sage, and vanilla. The concentration for this one is 18%. And this one is inspired by Tom Ford, Jasmine Rouge, Ida Parfum. So that's what that looks like. And now it's time to smell. So guys, I was just talking and talking and explaining how I felt about the fragrance and looked up and it stopped recording. <sighs> the life of a YouTuber, right? But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and redo the rest of the video because I had already finished to find out it was done and not recording. So the floral jasmine is a very, very strong scent of floral. So if you're into floral, I, I believe you would love this. Again, this is inspired by Tom Ford, the Jasmine Rouge Eater Parfum. And if you know what that smells like, I'm pretty sure this smells exactly like it because their inspirations are right on the money. So as far as I'm concerned, I'm not a big fan of floral scents. Um, but I do know a lot of people do like floral scents. So I will still tell you to give it a try if you like floral scents because it may just be the one for you. Everything doesn't smell the same on everyone's skin and I've learned that and it may not smell great on me to me, but it might smell great on you to you. So again, that's floral jasmine and that's what it looks like. So the next thing is ambery cherry and the notes for this one is, so the top notes for this one is cherry, almond, and cinnamon. The middle notes are cloves, rose, jasmine, and plum. And the base notes are Peru Balsam, Tonka Bean, and Vanilla. So I took this one out, opened it, and I gave it a little spray on my skin. It's already on this hand, because like I said, second time doing this. But all in all, I love this one. This one has a very soft, powdery scent. I'm a big fan of the powdery soft scent. It is 18% concentration, but the smell is a lot more toned down. It's a lot more, I just got out of the shower. I'm getting ready to go into bed with my man. It's giving, you know, I'm fresh, powdery, ready, clean. It's giving all of that. And I really, really like it. This is more my speed with the Embry Cherry. I really, really think you guys will like this one too. If you like the soft scents, if you like the fresh, clean scents, I really think you would like this. The powdery, mm, this is the perfume for you. Again, the Ambery Cherry is inspired by Tom Ford's Lost Cherry Eat Up Perfume. So I think they got this right on the money. This smells so good and I really think you guys will like it. So definitely would recommend you try this one if you like, again, the softer scents and the fresh scents. 
Okay, guys, that's it. And that's all for these fragrances. Make sure you check out Dossé. The link will be in the description box down below. You guys know I stand by them. I really enjoy their products. I feel like they give quality products, quality fragrances, and I really think you guys will like them. And it's a fraction of the cost because you know all those higher end fragrances, they can break your pockets. But if you want to smell good and you want to just, you know, turn heads when you walk in a room, but you don't want to spend all that money, make sure you check out Dossé. I think this is the way to go. I'm pretty sure you'll love this. So uh, check the link out in the description box down below and back to the video. Okay, y'all. So I hope y'all enjoyed that little insert, that little clip. I hope you will purchase from them. They have really, really good products, y'all. I stand beside them because their fragrances are bomb. They're like a bomb. <laughs> They're really good. So let me go ahead and bless the food. All right, y'all. So... Y'all, I've made all this myself. I forgot how much work it was doing seafood bowls. Y'all, it be a lot. I got me some napkins under here. It's a lot, especially when you make them yourself. And I make everything myself. So it just be a whole lot. And it take time instead of just buying it. But I do prefer making it myself instead of buying it. It tastes better. Y'all, this junk. Mmm. Mmm. Ooh. These potatoes are good. Put this like this. I was I let this um sit while I was setting it up. And I let it well, I was letting it cool down. It's still hot. If y'all don't know, I'm still experiencing some tooth sensitivity. Mmm. After coming back from the dentist. Y'all, this good. I could barely pick it up, but it's good. Can y'all see that smoke? Jesus. Oh my God. <laughs> so I hope y'all having a wonderful day. If not, it will get better. As you guys can see from the title, I am doing another episode of Unpopular Opinions Mukbang Style. I was told I should do another one, so I'm doing another one. <laughs> I forgot who told me to do another one. Shout out to you. Mmm. Yeah. Hot. <laughs> mm. I usually love my food real hot like this. I love it. But I don't enjoy eating like my food as much anymore with all this going on. Y'all, I had to get some feelings done and I never had feelings before, but they say the sensitivity can last from two to four weeks. Some people say even up to six months. I hope that's not the case because, baby, that's not what I want to do. For my drink today, I have some white grape juice. Whew. So I got my head on shrimp. Shout out to my sissy, Mr. First of Tea. Three. She be crushing these heads. I don't do all that now. And I said I was going to get something to put my trash. Mmm. I suck them a little bit. She be crushing these heads. Ooh. There's some spice in there. Mmm. Ooh. Mmm.
This is definitely not a cute mukbang. My mouth is on fire. And I ain't even making spicy, y'all. But it's still spicy. Like, what's going on? Mmm. So, I did my potatoes a little different this time. Because potatoes are going to take a long time to cook. If you make your own, you know. Mm, I got some water over here too. My back up. But if you make your own, you know it takes the longest to cook. Ooh. <laughs> Y'all, I don't do that for real. My sister do that. Check out Miss Diversity. Sorry, three. Check her channel out. I'm gonna leave the link to this in the description box down below. You got it? My turn again. That's what she be doing. She be giving y'all some food and she be doing that little get your bite. Get your bite. <laughs> Shout out to my sister. Y'all have to check out her channel. Y'all will love her. Oh, I pulled her head off. She be tainting up some blue crab. When I tell you, she be eating some blue crab. <clears throat> Trying to choke. <coughs> I can't do all that. I can't do all that. Some shrimp head. She be like biting it and eating it. Chewing it up. Y'all, she really gets down and the gets down with the seafood, especially the blue crab. That's her forte. You got to watch it. You got to check her out. You subscribed yet? You should. Especially if you like seafood boys. You'll love her. You'll love her, period. Because I say it so. Mm. I splashed this on my glasses, but it's supposed to stay right there. So, my peppers look all cute and stuff. I'm finna knock them down. <laughs> knock them on down. I always want to eat peppers with my seafood bowl. And I always buy them, and I always wait too late, and they go bad. So that's why y'all never see them. But finally, uh, today, let's dip it in there. You're going to get to see it. Because <clears throat> I didn't forget. Mm. I prefer them cook. I ain't even finna lie. That just hurt my teeth for a minute. I don't know why that happened either. Yeah, I prefer them cooked. They're supposed to be sweet pepper. I feel like the big ones are more sweet than that. Mm -hmm. Maybe because it's not cooked. Anyway, I see an egg. I spy with my big brown eye an egg. Mmm. <sighs> it's medium boiled. Not soft boiled, not hard, but medium. I like my eggs like that. You know what I'm telling y'all about the air fryer and potatoes? Y'all be jumping from subject to subject. Ooh, gosh, it's hot. But I did them a little different because they take the longest. So I started them off in the air fryer. And then I finished them on the stove boiling them. And I think it, it cooked pretty quick that way to me. Or a little bit quicker. 
I was gonna do them all in the air fryer, but I was like, mm, I don't even know how long it take. I did like 15 minutes, it still wasn't done. And then I was gonna do another 20 minutes. And I was like, I'm gonna just put these on the stove. And I put them on the stove for 10 minutes. And it was done. I just went ahead and threw them in the same pot that I had my corn and shrimp in. I, in, that, in the same um, juices or broth. This is hot, y'all. Mmm. Well, good. Hot and good. I like to eat my shrimp with the potatoes. Do y'all like to do that? It's so good to me. <clears throat> and the seafood bowl. Mm. This sauce is so good with the eggs. <laughs> so I'm gonna eat one more shrimp and I'm gonna get the talking. <clears throat> the egg, shrimp, and potato is like in the corn. I guess that's why I got this. It's like my favorite parts of the seafood bowl. Of course, I love the crab and stuff, but these are some of my favorite parts. Oh, that's pal. That I don't even need, um, I don't even need the crab, but <clears throat> y'all, I forgot to give me a lemon. I love the way the lemon tastes on here. And I forgot one, but it's okay. Because I'm not getting back up. Mmm. 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 I'm telling you, the shrimp with the potato is so good. Mm. It's hot. All right, y'all, so getting to these unpopular opinions, mukbang style. <clears throat> or mukbang edition. So, I have another two for y'all. The last ones was fun. I love the feedback that I got. I think I hurt some people feeling. Some people got offended. Because <laughs> they were like, go crazy. <laughs> When I was talking about that William Stop Ranch, that Nash the Ranch. We were. It was still fun. Thank y'all for everybody who participated, whether you agree with me or not. So I got another two for you. Y'all ready? Okay, so my first one is it's not too bad. And I don't know if too many people would disagree i don't know if it'll be like 50 50 not sure but my first one is <clears throat> pickles don't go on chicken sandwiches i just it just doesn't i don't feel like pickles go on um 
on chicken sandwiches. And I'm pretty sure people that don't eat pickles are going to agree because they don't like pickles, period. But I like pickles. <clears throat> oh, that's spicy. <coughs> I like pickles, but I don't like them like that. I mean, I can eat them. They're not bad or anything. I like them on like... Um, sometimes on burgers, I'll eat it and then I'll end up picking it off. But I'm not like a person that just gets extra pickles or I usually pick my pickles off or eat them by themselves. But they don't go on chicken sandwiches to me. Like it just don't mix well. I don't know. And I don't know who came up with that concept, but I know people like it and stuff, but I don't know. And like the juice of the pickle be making a chicken like soggy or whatever and the bread ugh, I don't know I don't like it and then that pickle be getting on your bun how many of y'all like pickles on your chicken sandwich I don't I don't think it go and it just but pickles and chicken people I know they do it I know when KFC were doing their um What is it like Kentucky Gold and Kentucky Heat? Like one was sweet, one was heat. And they put the pickles on top of the chicken. Like regular pieces of chicken. I don't know, somebody just must love that, but I don't like it. And even if like, you know how you say no pickles and they forget you could just pick them off, but I hate that because it ruins the sandwich because the juice is still on there you know i don't like it i started off easy that one wasn't too bad so for my second unpopular Opinion <laughs> Mukbang edition. Not so messy. Mm -hmm. I, being the brown girl that I am, I don't eat watermelon. I said it. <laughs> I don't. I don't like watermelon. Now, before y'all try to revoke my card, I've seen other people of the brown complexion that don't like watermelon too. I found that out on my journey of knowing that I don't like it. <laughs> so it ain't just me. But, um, yeah, I don't. Uh, when I was young, mm, you know how when you're young, you eat something because your parents give it to you? Same thing with pecans. If they fall off the tree or whatever, I used to eat them. And I, I think I liked pecans when I was young. I just don't like them anymore. I remember liking them, but I don't. Anymore. But. Watermelon. I just don't. I remember getting it and like sucking it and shooting the seeds at each other when you kids. Or shooting them on the ground. Or whatever. But eating it being like, you know. Never being crazy about watermelon i just knew your parents chop it up and give it to you you eat it you know you eat it all the way down to the the brim to the rind you know to get like more bitter but i just remember like even as a child i i know what it tastes like and i can and i ate it and i always like has this particular like gritty that's the best i can explain it i may not be explaining it right but to me that's the best way i know how it's like a gritty like texture 
in your mouth when you eat it and it's just i don't care it's not because it's not sweet because it's sweet i just i think i just don't i figured it out that i just don't like melon period because i don't like cantaloupe honeydew um uh, whatever those other melons that they have i don't like any of those melons so watermelon watermelon is a melon that's why i'm like okay i'm just not a fan of melons but i i see people eat it and people make it look so good and you know sometimes you wish like oh my god i wish i was into that because i mean it's watermelon it's a fruit you know it's not bad for you and all that kind of stuff it's something you can eat a sweet treat um while not worrying about eating all that refined sugar and things like that but you be wanting to like oh you make it look like it's so good but i know i don't like it you know so yeah y'all don't be coming for me now i said that last time y'all still came for me y'all still came the feet still came i'm just kidding <laughs> no people just had different of opinion but that's what we here for to speak about our difference of opinions respectfully but yeah i don't like watermelon y'all we did this video it was lee me lee and naya and tamia and i think jalen was out of town at that time and it was watermelon fried chicken and kool-aid <laughs> Woo! People still to this day be commenting stuff on that video, but whatever. That's another story. But anyways, it didn't. We didn't plan the video like that. It just kind of happened like that. Um, it just kind of happened that way. We didn't say, "Oh, we're gonna do this today." We just had all of those components there, and we just decided to do it. We knew that you know people would be like, "Huh?" We thought that it would be like a funny stereotype. Or whatever we thought that's how people would take it like what but i mean it ain't true because i don't eat watermelon so the stereotype it was kind of like proving the stereotype wrong in a way and so we were just like should we do this because people gonna think and i was like let them think what they think i don't care it's nothing wrong with liking fried chicken watermelon and drinking kool-aid there's nothing wrong with that some stereotypes are true but not for all people because i don't eat watermelon but anyways yeah that's number two. <laughs> I can't wait to see the comments for this. I can't wait. Me as a, I don't know. There's a lot of stuff that I don't like that people think we should like. As, or people think that all black people like, and I don't. It's a lot of stuff, y'all. I don't know. Y'all probably jump on my head if y'all don't have the stuff that I do not like. And you probably like, girl, it don't look like you don't like it. I don't. It's just I eat what I like. That's it. That's why I'm fluffy. Hey, when people make it seem like you can't be picky because you're fluffy. I've said that in the video before. Just because I'm fluffy don't mean I can't be picky. I just eat a lot of what I like, right? Or maybe just the wrong stuff. That Whatever. But you could be picky and fluffy. Mmm. Mmm. Well, this corn is good. It's a green giant extra sweet. We always pick this corn. We've been getting it since we started YouTube. But some days, it tastes better than other days. But I'm going to eat this and wrap it up because. I'm on my phone again. And I'm like, why y'all keep telling us you record on your phone? Because y'all, it's different and it's new for me. I'm a camera girl. I'm a camera girl and I'm doing the phone and it's interesting. And I gotta let y'all know I don't know the odds and ends in case stuff go wrong. So just let me talk about it. Mmm. Mmm. That's good, y'all. You know what's spicy? Mm. But I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. How many of y'all like white grape juice? I think it's delicious. Next to apple juice is one of my favorites. 
Well, that's it in that's all for this video, guys. I hope you really enjoyed. Don't forget to check out the coldest water bottle. The links is always in the description box down below. As well as don't forget to check out Dossier. Their fragrances will blow you away. Dossier, it'll blow you away. <laughs> Make sure you check them out, y'all. And that's it in that's all for this video. Make sure to share below your unpopular opinions, what you feel about mine, and if you got some yourself that you want me to talk about. Because I'll talk about it. I really will. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.